Hello out there, and I wanted to make a quick video today about these new Spyderco sprint runs because um, usually when it comes to knives, I, I try to lean towards getting, you know, the more practical kinds of things. And when it comes to upgrades, I like, you know, functional kind of upgrades more so than gimmicky kind of stuff. And stuff like Damascus, for example, or glow-in-the-dark scales, or, you know, some of the other things that we see sometimes on knives, it just isn't really, like, like the decorative aspect of it. Like, a lot of the Benchmade Gold class is a perfect example. That stuff just doesn't do it for me. Now, that said, you know... There's always exceptions to every rule, and the point of the video today is just that, that sometimes even gimmicky and novelty stuff, for some reason, if you don't care for it, you can go against the grain and just end up liking it, and that's definitely the case of what happened with these Delicas, which I'll get back to in just a second. I want to talk about the kinds of uh, upgrades and sprint runs and limited editions that I'm more traditionally a fan of. You know, it's stuff like this Manix 2, which is in M390 and has this like dark tan. It's really just brown G10. But that's the kind of uh, upgrade and variation that I like to see from companies. And Spyderco does a ton of it. You know, they pump out these classic designs like the Manix 2, Paramilitary 2, Para 3 in every steel that you can imagine. They give us a lot of options. And sure, it might be hard to, to get them because they sell out quickly and they go for a lot of money on the secondary market. But if you're willing to pay for it and you have a, a very strong preference, you can get the knife that you want in probably the configuration that you're looking for, which is awesome for a collector you know and it's something that collectors really love is is having that option it's also something that drives them crazy <laughs> if they're trying to get every single one that's out there because spiderco just puts them out and out and out but you know that's really when i'm thinking about the kinds of like upgrades and things that i've gone for in the past that's the style that i usually shoot for Stuff that's more either, like I said, gimmicky or showy or novelty-esque even, like this, is stuff that I've just shied away from. It just hasn't appealed to me. And what's interesting is that these two knives right here, the two Delicas, when I unboxed them, I thought they were both really cool. <laughs> surprised to say it. Like, really surprised to say it. Thought that uh, I really just liked the the sort of special aspect of both of them the damascus on this one and the glow in the dark and we'll get back to the glow in the dark in just a second the damascus though it's a it's a big departure for me and this isn't my knife so um you know i'm not keeping this one so it's it's not like i went out and bought this so it's not that big of a departure but just the fact that i like a knife with damascus is a big surprise because if, if you've watched this channel like when have i ever had anything with damascus on it at all you know it just hasn't really been my thing and uh, I think at one point I actually like was deciding I'm going to give it a shot. I did a trade with a buddy of mine for a Skyline, a Kershaw Skyline in Damascus, and the knife got stolen out of my mailbox. True story. So <laughs> the one time I decided to really give it a fair shot, it just didn't even work out at all there either. But with this knife, with this Delica 4, this Damascus pattern with the navy blue G10, it just looks fantastic. I think it's one of the best looking Delicas that I've ever seen. And uh, talking about the scales real quick. So this navy blue is a navy blue that when like I've writ dyed this material, this is the color that I shoot for almost all the time. And I mean, it's just that good looking. So really a big fan of that. This knife, by the way, is a Knife Joy exclusive. Sort of cool to, to hear about that too, just because Knife Joy has been around for a while on Instagram. I've followed them for, I think, a, a long time, or at least I've been familiar with them, and to see them grow and get their own exclusive is a, a pretty neat thing. But when it comes to the Damascus, for some reason, it just never really appeals to me. And in this case, I, I don't know, maybe, it, maybe I, I had something weird for breakfast. And I'm just feeling off the last couple days. I'm not sure, but I just like the way that this knife looks. You know, functionally, I don't know how this would perform any better than any other Delica. I mean, we do still have a VG10 core and then like 15 layers of Damascus on each side to make 31 total layers. How that will be functionally versus a... Um, a just regular VG10 knife. I couldn't really tell you. I don't really think it matters that much either, but this is a knife that just looks pretty. And so, you know, as I'm EDCing something, I, I don't know that I'd want to like beat up, beat up on this one. And that's sort of, I don't know, it's sort of what makes me just avoid it in general. It just looks more artsy than it does look like a tool. But in this case, it's a good thing, which is odd, you know?
but overall, I think it's a great looking knife. Then we've got the glow in the dark. And the glow in the dark thing, I mean, I've had some glow in the dark. I think one bit of glow in the dark that I own right now, it says backspacer on this persistence. I got it just, you know, just for shits, just trying to, to check it out, see what it was like. This knife is sort of like a Frankenstein knife with uh, some mods on it anyway, so I figured, what the heck, let's give it a go. And yeah, it's glow in the dark, like whatever. But on this, I, I just think the knife just looks good, even without it glowing in the dark. And I'll be inserting, probably right now, you're watching a video of the whole glow in the dark process. I don't know, for some reason, that whole gimmicky thing just, just, I took a liking to it in this case. So go figure. I guess the point of this video is to say, like, don't pigeonhole yourself into having one set opinion that you can't really back away from. Because uh, while I probably still wouldn't spend money on getting either of these for myself, you know, it, it's not because I don't like what's going on with them. It's just I don't need it and it's not, you know, something that I'm particularly interested in in, in a Delica right now. But, hey, I mean, uh, in the future, if something like this comes across my, my uh, table again, I think I'll be a little bit more open to it than I was in the past just because for some reason these models just appeal to me when other ones that were similar and had similar things going on didn't. So yeah, keep your, uh, keep your opinions open to, uh, to change as things go and you never know what'll happen. And let me know what you think, guys. What do you think about uh, the gimmicky or novelty kind of aspects of knives, whether it's like like weird kind of locking mechanisms or odd clips or glow-in-the-dark or Damascus or whatever it might be. Uh, what are your thoughts and, and what is the, the line that you draw between functional versus art? Like where does that begin and end for you? All right, and any other questions, comments, complaints, suggestions, let me know down below. Really appreciate you watching. Take care and have a good one.